I could watch a gif of that happening for hours, probably. I could watch a gif of that happening for hours, probably. I could watch a gif of that happening for hours, probably. I could watch a gif of that happening for hours, probably. Okay, well, is Jamka gonna kill his girlfriend or whatnot? I guess we'll find out. Love interest. She hasn't, she hasn't given consent yet, okay? Please, Jamka. Yes, he doesn't do it. Oh, what a bro. What a bro. There is there is a risk-free way of doing this. Seems to be walking towards Sigurd. Interesting. Yeah, I think he wants to kill him. I think he tar- I, I seem to recall him targeting Sigurd a lot. Yeah. I mean, he's the leader. Hold Princess Jamka. Oh, no. It's <laughs> Hold Prince Jamka. I don't know why I read that as a princess. Hold! Hold, I say. Go, go, I will not hold. What are you doing here? You said you would persuade your father, yet instead you've taken to the field yourself. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> my father's a changed man. My words can no longer reach him. It all started when that sorcerer, Sandima, arrived. My entire family now bases every word. That is why I ask, why have you taken to the field? Please, Chamka. Join us. Let's go to Verdane together. We can reason with the king. One more time. We can put an end to this war. One more turn. <laughs> One more turn. Lord Sigurd has no interest in invading Verdane. He fought only to rescue me. Please listen, Jamka. Please, I beg of you. Fine. If you're willing to go so far, then I'll stain my name with treason. But it must be understood that I won't let anyone lay a finger on my father. Yes, I will promise you that. Thank you, Jamka. You truly are a good person. Aideen. All right. Hi. Welcome, Jamka. So, Jamka. First archery you get. Only archery you get. No, actually, you got one more. Am I a joke to you? Every other <laughs> archer you get. <laughs> so Jamka, uh, he has what I like to dub the the machine gun build. <laughs> where he has all, like all three attack again skills. His pursuit, he has a cost, and he has adept. This can lead to Jamka attacking a ridiculous amount of times. Uh, which sounds really nice on paper, but you may notice that he's not sitting on top of a horse. And you know what this means for a unit in FE4. He can clear the arena really well. In fact, for most of my runs, he just breezes through it, because even if he gets killed, he can just re-enter the arena. He's usually fast enough to go first. He just, you just need him to crit, and then maybe against some of the tougher opponents, like a crit and an adapt will do it. Um, I'd say that Jamka is not a fantastic unit, because he's sort of like a foot unit, and he will just lag behind the rest of your army, but fighting-wise, he is really good for an archer. Uh, his growths are pretty unspectacular, he doesn't come with any holy blood or anything like that, but the combination of his skills plus his killer bow, um, at least it makes him nice, like, good at dealing damage, which is nice. But he's still an archer that can attack, like, one enemy on, on player phase, so that, you know, I'm still only gonna rate him 2 out of 5 stars, but I would say that even for an archer, like, an archer in any other game would probably be 1 star, but Jamke makes it up to a 2 star because of his ability to clear the arena and do decent damage when he attacks. But for the most part, I think is just gonna be behind the horses and not doing anything. I agree with that. I think a lot of people, especially new players at IV4, will rate Jamka as if he has the killer bow all the time and mostly look at his arena performance rather than what he actually does when he's on the field. And as a result, they will be like, Jamka is an awesome, awesome unit. I think the Inui guy from that FE9 Ike Jamka plus Killer Bow he, plus he, Edith yeah, equals pretty much. He, he, he literally had Jamka at the top of his tier list. Well, not all the way to the top, but like up there with like Sigurd and stuff. It was ridiculous. He's not that good, okay? He's, he's good at fighting individual enemies, but I know it looks really impressive that he just clears the arena, even the toughest opponents. But Jamka is not the same thing as like a good unit on the field. He's just good at fighting individual enemies, and that's fine. Also, a lot of people don't really realize or don't want to give his killer bow to other units, but it's a lot more useful on Medeer because if one unit is on a horse and the other one isn't, then the one on the horse is going to do more work. So yeah. you want the better weapon on the better unit that's able to do more work with it. So usually I swap their weapons around and give him the killer bow, like give Medeer the killer bow and give Jamka something else. And when Jamka gets... Uh, like a steel bow or something. It looks a little all as impressive. His hit actually goes down like way because the killer bow is like super accurate. It has like a hundred hit. It's really like, good. Normal bows had like 70 or something, like 65. It's terrible. So it actually suffers accuracy issue at that point. But I won't blame Jamka for accuracy issues because he does have the option of the killer bow when accuracy is important. But just saying, Jamka is not the same as the killer bow. Killer bow is kick ass. Jamka, yeah, he's he's all right. Um, like, most tier lists right before, Jamka's actually, like, at, all the way at the bottom, like, at one star. I won't go that far. I will still give him two stars just because he is good at combat, I guess. And I think a lot of people will be triggered if I give him one star. Not that it ever stopped me. But... <laughs> <laughs> I would give him one star, but 
fine. In the context of a ranked run, I can see two stars because you just he, he can kind of deal with his shortcomings and make him good at the things he's good at. But I'm just saying low two star, okay? <laughs> low two star. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's two very meek looking little stars. <laughs> so, uh, Jump Kit, I mean, yeah, I'm probably going to give him a kill or two. Why not? Everyone needs to get some kills, so might as well see what the guy can do. And then I'm probably uh -huh. going to just send him back to the arena. But I'm, I'm not going to send him all the way back to the home castle, I think. Or maybe yeah. I should. Like, I don't think he'll contribute all that much. I actually think Japan is really good against the final army of this chapter. Because there's oh, yeah. a lot of hunters and a couple of other... Well, mostly just a bunch of hunters that he's like... He's the only unit that's good at fighting at two range. Yeah. Much. So, so, do we send... might want to keep him around. You he has three move in the forest anyway. Yeah, he does, actually. This is kind of nice. So, do we send home Noish? I think at this point, no, which is done here, yeah. Probably. I think um, you should probably wrap up the remaining bandits and, like, Ira and Seeger as much as possible, because they have three moves. Everyone else is just so slow around here. Yeah, Ira's actually I... really good against these guys, so I should send her up there. Oh, yeah. wow, did she just get a... Yeah, she got a blank level up. Yeah, that happens with Ethel a lot. Also, yeah, Ira is, like... This is probably a good demonstration of why Ira is not that amazing at combat, because she's going to try to get, like, in that choke point over there, but when she doesn't... When she fails to one round something, every other enemy will be, like behind them and not be able to attack and Ira only one runs when she gets Astra and when she doesn't, shucks. <laughs> no kill. <laughs> yup. Uh, same thing with Jamka. If he, if he doesn't proc Adapt or continue, he usually doesn't kill. Um, well, Jamka has Adapts and Critical and Charge, so he has a much higher chance to one round than Ira does. Yeah. Also, uh, one thing we forgot to mention with Jamka is since she can't Super Kanto, this happens. Yeah, well... <laughs> yeah, like Medir could have got out of it this guy's range. Uh, well, Medir wouldn't have been able to move three tiles, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> so I think actually the Iron Blade doesn't one round, does it? Actually, the. No, it, she did one round with nothing. Maybe. I don't think she even one round with the Silver Sword. Because Sigur was like borderline with the Iron Lance. I don't know. Hard to guess. But yeah, as you can see, she does... Uh, yeah, okay, she procs... Um, she, procs see, she, she kills all the time, five-star unit. Yeah, good unit right here. Nice. Uh, I probably should figure out, like, who are the lowest level guys in my army and try to give them some kills. Uh, I'd rather look at, like, who are the guys that have the most trouble getting kills overall. Yeah. Like, Quan might be high level, but he still wants kills. This is true. But at the same time, I do need to, like, move a little bit. But yeah, Madir, probably... You can't go wrong with giving kills to, like, Medeer and friends. No. And Quan, like, I've given, like, uh, <laughs> so I've been watching some LTC runs just to brush up on my strat, and uh, they're actually not giving that many kills to Quan. But, uh, my, I'm just noticing my Quan is a lot higher level for some reason. Oh, I mean, it's, like, maybe not all of your guys are going to cap out. But you're just giving kills to a unit that's guaranteed to need them. Like, Quan will not cap out at 30, so... As long as you're feeding kills to someone who needs it, I don't think you can really go wrong. Probably not. So, if, like, if your Quan is higher, but for example, their, uh, no, their Medir is lower, then you're basically the same. <laughs> Probably, yeah. So I'm just gonna heal Jam Cup, and I'm gonna warp him back next turn. Or I could return him. I'm not, actually I would, no. I would no. keep Jam Cup around. Oh, not send him back to the arena yet? Yeah. Well, he should go back all the way at the end of the chapter. I think he's like the the upper part. Where mm -hmm. Sandima is, it's just a really good opportunity for him to get XP and to get through it quickly. Yeah, because like, there's a lot of hunters in that squad, right? Yeah, it's all raised enemies and then two steel axe users, and Jamka just kills everything in that part. Yeah. And he has like a very low chance to die, so Jeez. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I actually think you, in some spots you prefer Secret not to one round things. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> actually would, wouldn't mind if you didn't. But uh, next chapter it's fine if Secret is like really strong. Oh, for sure. So if I adapt here, I'll kill, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, if yeah. not, well, the guy will just survive the turn. Oh, well. <laughs> yep, there we go. Um, but yeah, uh, one thing I actually really wanted to do for this playthrough, and I might just make a save state so I can show it. Actually, Ray has a video of it. Um, have you ever tried to uh, kill Sandama before you recruit Daedra? Um, oh yeah, that's a thing, isn't it? No, I have. Well... That's it's, a lie. I've done it in runs where I want to be like really fast. Like I've done like in a long, long, long ago past. I've tried the LTC, LTC, FE4, and in those strats you can't really get the up there in time. So yeah, I have killed Sandman. It without. is really interesting. So I mean, um, so next turn we'll, I'll just I'll just 
explain it after we recruit Deidre, because it'll make more sense to newer players that way. Because, like, if you're watching... I know some of the people watching this actually haven't played FE4. They're watching this... <gasps> My they're, god. <laughs> they're watching this for the first time, because... They either think FE4 is, like, too intimidating, which, you know, it's understandable. It does seem a lot harder than it is. Or they just, like, don't want to bother playing it because it's slow and clunky. <laughs> Kill with Jamka, not Sigurd. Hmm? Kill with Jamka, not with Sigurd. Yeah. The guy up there. Uh, uh, you might... The other way, dude. What do you mean? Why didn't you go up to Sigurd? Oh, right, right. I see what you mean. Yeah, an optimal movement. This is true. And there we go, that's a crit. So in FE4, you can only crit if you have the crit skill or a weapon with 50 uses. I know the two doesn't stack. So, if you move here, something happens. <gasps> Wait, Lord Sigurd! Hmm, Miss that Deidre? Ah, oh, so this must be your spirit forests. Thank the gods. For a moment, I thought that I might never see you again. My lord, listen. The dark priest Sandima guards Castle Verdane with his wicked magic. You must go no further. You would surely be killed. Please, you mustn't go. But I mustn't place my men in even greater danger either. I have no choice but to go. I see. Then I will go with you. Excuse me. This is called a silent staff. So long as my own power is enough to pierce his magical resistances, <laughs> I will seal his magic away in meta conversation. Trust me, my lord. I'll ensure his dark spells never harm anyone ever again. For five turns. <laughs> I never imagined that you'd have such power. But why? Why are you helping me? I tried to forget you all I could, but it was all in vain. I no longer know what I should do. What is it that you're afraid of, Deidre? I don't understand. But if you and I feel the same way, then surely we have nothing to fear. I love you, Deidre. And just, like, and just like that. Boom! Nope. Uh, wait. Nope. Oh, nope. no, they have, they, have to <laughs> they, visit the, they have to visit the castle first, right? No, uh, I think they have a love growth of, like, 500 points or something, where they have, like, a base of 490, so they'll fall in love next turn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's how it works. I was like, yeah, because he, like, it's marries... It's love at second turn. <laughs> yeah, because he, like, marries her on the spot. So, uh, if you if you actually kill Sandima before you move Sigurd through the spot or something, I don't exactly remember how you do it, but there's... Oh, right, a... so, okay, so I have to kill him with someone else besides Sigurd, okay? I've never yes, done that. Yes, yes, and then you actually get a special conversation. Uh, or Deidre will... She'll... Because obviously she can't talk about Sanima and the Sun stuff, so they, they included something else instead. And this conversation is a little bit of an Easter egg because it reveals a lot more about Dietrich's heritage. So I'll po I'll post it in the video post production so you guys can go see it. I think Ray has a clip of it on his channel. And yeah, I'll just play it for you. This is a way to make the encounter with his oh, waifu. Hi. Ah, my bonder! I mean, I joke, but actually, in the manga, he runs into her bathing, so... <laughs> yeah! Oh, no, damn titties. He sees actually, those yes. those animate abaday titties. Abaday titties. Abaday titties. The and, like, I mean, it's probably just because it's manga, but she's pretty fucking stacked. Um, well, that's, yeah, that's pretty much manga, yeah. Alright, so this is an entirely different conversation than the play. She's just basically talking about her, uh, uh, her lore and shit. Whereas, if Sandima is still alive, she's like, Hey, don't go. Sandima's gonna kick your ass, and I have ways to deal with him. But this is actually a way more interesting conversation. I can believe that. Yeah. I was never mingled with, with men. men. Oh, Sigurd. You're such a guy. Who's this with me? Let me alone. Ha <laughs> ha! About that! So that was the clip. Did you like it, Mecca? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look it up right now. I mean, yeah. I, I just watched it. It was really good. Yeah. So, uh, Deidre. She is the girl that Sigurd should not mingle with, but did it anyway. Birth of a stupid knight, am I right? But <laughs> what we what we do for love. So uh, Deidre, she's a priestess, and for some reason she can't promote. She's a she's pre promoted unit, even though it's not very obvious to first sight. She's not pre promoted. She just can't promote. 
I would consider that being a pre-promote, but okay, all right. Okay, but then what is, what is Julia then? <laughs> Good point. So, uh, Mario. So, <laughs> so Deidre, let's uh, take a look at her blood. Ooh, uh, she has major Naga blood. Again, that little weird blip there. I don't know why it keeps coming up. I really gotta check my ROM. I think it might be bugged. Can confirm. <laughs> she's got, uh, yeah, she's got major Naga blood, which... Oh my god, it boosts her growth rates by a crap ton. She's a very lopsided unit. She has like a crap ton of magic and rest and nothing else. She can use light magic, one of the only I think her and Julia are the Oh never mind, I'm full of shit. Also just can use light magic in this game. But she can use it earlier than anyone else. Um, she comes with she can use staves, she can she also comes with the circlet, which is a special item that only she can wear that grants well, that's exactly what it says. Miracle and renewal. Does it have any other hidden things built into it? I don't think so. No, but Deirdre has the Nile skill as well. Yeah, that's she might think it. Yeah, right. That's true. Um, so Deirdre, she's very unavailable in this generation. I get it because she's married with Sigurd. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she she's only available for this chapter, chapter two, and then in chapter three, she's like stuck in the castle. So the, your time to train her is very limited. Although she can use staves inside the castle, so that's nice. She comes with the sand staff, which I'm going to use against Sandima for experience more than anything else. In this game, uh, status have just hit automatically if you have more magic than the enemy's resistance, which is kind of nice. Deidre as a combat unit is not spectacular. She comes with the aura tome, which seems good, but it weighs 20, so she... I mean, she doesn't have Pursuit, but it does fuck with her Avoidant a lot. You can see she has minus 10 Avoid on the stat screen. So, however, I think I might have a way to solve this. I'm going to give her Sandima's Magic Ring, unless you have any objections to it. Well, you'd have to kill Sandima with her. That's not so hard to do. Or have her buy it. Okay, well, I guess uh, you can do it. And I read that if she gets the Magic Ring, she actually one-shots a lot of the arena opponents, which is this actually kind of nice. And she also has Miracles, so if you rig her Miracle, like, kind of like what Mecha talked about in the ranking video, uh, you can, like, rig her hit points so that she can abuse Miracle and clear the arena. Wouldn't that be an argument for not giving her the magic ring, then? Maybe. It's a compelling <laughs> argument. Anyway, Deidre, she's weird. I don't really know what to rate her. She's... I have to sort of level her up as much as I can because of XP requirement. Otherwise, I'd recommend just not giving a shit about Deidre and just using her as a healer, probably. Uh, I think I'm gonna rate her, like, 3 out of 5 stars. She's got some staff utility on her, which is nice, but... Again, being a footlock unit just means she's gonna lag behind everyone else, and it's just like, she's just a really weird unit. She also kind of die. If she gets killed, she winds up in the enemy's castle, and she will rejoin you as soon as you kill the boss of that castle. If the enemy just like teleports her there or something, I don't know, it's really weird. She's got plot armor. You'll understand why in a bit. I think that still counts for your survival ranking, though, so oh, you still can't yes. get her killed. <laughs> yes, that's, that's very yeah. true. Yeah, I just looked up her growth because I was curious. I hadn't used her in a while. Apparently she has like 70 HP, 70 magic, and 70 magic defense or resistance, and then everything else is 10 or 20%. So yeah, yeah she's really very lopsided. lopsided. Very lopsided. Yeah. Very fragile, uh, very low avoid, but very high attack power. Basically sums her up, but you don't really get to use her very much. I don't really want to talk about the exact details of it, but yeah. I think the availability alone is like hard enough of an argument for me to like not even rate her three stars. I think that's too high for her. I I would probably give her about two stars, considering how little she's around and how little she can even do. Like, she could probably get through the arena, but you don't have time to get her to level 30. But at least she can staff abuse. I would actually recommend Mang's gift the warp staff to her next chapter, because she's going to be need to be grinding yeah. a lot more than Ideen does. I agree. So, yeah, but I think besides the silencing in this chapter, she doesn't really do a lot in any kind of playthrough. So yeah, two stars. Yeah. And that's generous, I think. <laughs> it is really generous. So I think... Uh... So is the guy that gave her three stars. <laughs> I, think, I thought that was, like, I don't know. <laughs> Let's uh, watch uh, the most uh, acid trippy animation ever, so... Oh, yeah. This mm. this is the only person who can use this room, by the way. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, the only person wow. in Gem 1, anyway. She missed. <laughs> nice one. That would have been nice if she hit, because then uh, she could have killed the guy next turn. Yeah. Well, I guess she nice. could still kill him next turn. That's alright. That's alright. I didn't want to get killed anyway. Uh, leave that down to Arden, I guess. Yeah, that's what I was planning on doing, yeah. But just that guy wanted to kill you anyway, B Babaka. <laughs> Actually, uh, if I attack with... Can I kill this guy with Arden? Uh, Not if, in one hit. No, but I can attack with Ethlin. You can also heal with Ethlin. Probably gives her more XP. Yeah, and then I can kill with Arden. Or she can crit and you don't get a kill with Arden at all. <laughs> that could happen, but that would have been cool, so I don't mind that. 
There we very go. Very cool. Less XP for Arden. Thanks. Very cool. <laughs> I've tried really hard to be as strong as I am, but everyone still teases me. Uh, also, we got to bring Lex through the forest because he has the secret events. Um, I found mm. out uh, the hard way when I did. Oh wow! <gasps> Sick. Level up. What? Arden got four stat. This is a momentous occasion, guys. He's got skill. It's like a 10% growth for him. Yeah. So uh, I found out. I don't remember in which playthrough it was, but I. I discovered that if you send Lex up here without his Iron Axe, yeah. it doesn't work. Yep, correct. It's, it's, it, I got really pissed. So, because like, the event is like, oh, I dropped my Iron Axe, so if, yep. he doesn't have, if he doesn't have an Iron Axe to drop, then you know. It makes sense. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna just warp as much as I can this chapter, since we're gonna sell it to, uh, sell it to Deidre yeah. next, next uh, chapter. Yeah, and like... It sounds like it makes sense to keep it at high uses so that Deirdre can buy it without having to repair it, but repairing costs the same as buying, so you might as well break it before you sell it to other units, because you're paying that gold anyway. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Also, like, I it costs you like 100 extra gold, I think, because you have to buy a broken staff and that costs a little bit of gold, but that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what I like about Deidre is uh, she her circlet gives her a miracle, but it, it, it also heals her. Oh yeah, so she gets hurt, it's fine. You can yeah. make interesting miracle sets up that way. And you don't have to put her on a castle when she wants to self-heal after losing an arena battle. Yeah, it's also, actually really nice. I think you just got... Um, like, earlier she missed, but now she had 100 hit because of the lover bonus, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Check like, out if she's married now. Oh right, yeah, give gold. Yeah, that's definitely married. <laughs> yep. Fire you might it. want to give Deirdre... Like, if you want to give Deirdre gold for next chapter, you might want to do it before Sigurd, like goes away in chapter 2. Yeah, so do it next turn, maybe? Yeah, if like, if you want to do it, you should decide on it in this chapter. Yeah, oh, I, I'm trying to kill a bandit with uh, Deer Day Hole. I was thinking uh, Ira could get him, but yeah, you're... Uh, that's fine, favorite. too. That's actually arguably better. I think that might work. Also, I can probably start sending people home now, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you can also get that kill to Arn. <laughs> I could, but it will take so fucking long. Alright, this anyway. is true. Hello. Well, you can send him home after he's uh, gotten the kill. Oh, I love these kooky villagers. Just to know if here is a mighty woodland called the Spirit Forest. Once upon a time, I lived there too, in this little hamlet deep within. The village is home to the last kindling of the dark, one of old Loptir. They said it all started with St. Myra, exiled by the Empire for daring to sympathize with mortal men. In my day, there was this gorgeous girl living there called Sigwin, the last of heir of Loptir's bloodline she was. She lived her life under the close guard, the villagers wary of letting the blood of Luptir loose into the world. Alas, Sigrun grew weary of the tedious forest life and left it all behind, breaking ancient commandments. A couple of years later, she came back, except now she was pregnant. Never said who the father was, mind. Before long, Sigrun died, even as she gave birth to her daughter. From what I heard, the Amlet's old prophet took her in and raised the girl as her own. If the little girl's still alive, she'd have to be about 17 or 18 by now. Hmm, hmm, what would, mm. this, what would this daughter be? Hmm, hmm. Mm. Hmm. Girl that wasn't the lead that allowed to lead. Mm. 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 Also, you even mention how her growths are very lop sided. <laughs> 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 I, th <laughs> I thought of it earlier, but you were talking, I didn't want to interrupt you. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you can't warp a unit if they're standing on the castle. Oh, Finn yeah. is like, can I please come back? No. <laughs> no Finn. <laughs> well, you're gonna run out of work with this raid, which is good. Yeah. Can I just, like, buy it in its broken state and just repair it with the money I get from Sigurd or something? Yeah. That's what you can do. Yeah. So who do we need up here? Um, not oh, Quan, yes. I think. Ethlin might be good. Uh, Ethlin has got to return Janka, probably. Yeah. Can, or maybe Idenius, I don't know. Yeah, also here's the boss, Sandima. It's pretty scary for Dark Mage your face. Dark Mages are generally pretty nasty in this game. He drops a magic ring, he has the Fenrir, which is the Siege Tome, and the Jormungandr, which is just really good Tome. He doesn't have any skills or anything like that, but he will Fenrir you. But you can silence him with a Deirdre. Normally I don't recommend doing this, because I think saving the silence staff is good, but for me, the experience it gives is so good. What do you need the silence staff for other than this part, though? It can be somewhat useful in uh, Chapter 2. There is a boss that can be a bit tedious. If you don't have a strong Sigurd. I do have a strong Sigurd, though, so I should be fine. Uh, you don't have to like, be in his range ever. Also, how many uses does Silence have? One, right? Or is it... Is no, it... three. Three. Yeah, so... Hmm. so that's one use. <laughs> Find yeah. me two better uses besides Sandman, then. <laughs> okay, fine. Go ahead. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Comment section, help me out here. <laughs> 
So I think, yeah, I'll go for Ira. He does actually have 40% avoid in the thicket, but it doesn't matter. Weapon with Fire Emblem for his sword sort to lax his weapon triangle, everyone. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm gonna probably gonna send Jamka through the forest and deal with some of the hunters that way. Ooh, magic! She got, wow, holy shit, this seems to be a meme that's carrying over. There's 5% growth. Yeah. So we want to send... I think it's faster to send her through here, isn't it? I think so. Probably not a big difference. Secret should probably go through the side, though. Yeah, oh, yeah, I should give the gold, shouldn't I? I guess so. There you go. Fiancé, or wife. There you go. You know, if she doesn't use up all of it, she can give it back later. Yeah, she can. So this is nice. So we'll need to send Lex, and Arden can probably go home. I... Don't yeah, it's not a not a brigand is dead. Yeah, Arden is here. Yeah, so I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna send Alec. Again, this is a bit tedious, I know, but this is how we play on rank mode. This is how Kaga meant for the game to be played. This is how Kaga intended it. He yeah. works in mysterious ways. He does. This is actually Kaga just thought it was super funny to like warp people back to castles. I mean, we do know Kaga loves his warp staves. I don't think the ranking system was actually meant for people to like go hardcore, always S rank it. I think it was more meant to be like an evaluation of how you did throughout the whole game, and that, not something that meant to be maximized, but like something that's meant to like measure people against each other. I love photoshopping and UFOs. Like, when people get returned. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you get abducted by aliens. It's so much fun. It does. It's great. <laughs> Let me know how the music plays. Uh, so I think once we get a little bit closer... I think it's for Sigurd, it's definitely faster to go around. Yeah, but he doesn't want to walk in the Sandman's range or... Thingies mm. over. She wants to fight them with Jamcom. Yeah, so this, as you can see, 27 turns. This is... It is hard. Like, this is by far one of the most consuming chapters of the first generation. Time You'd have to wait for Lex to finish anyway, so it's not a big deal if Secret takes a long time. Or Jamka. No. Yeah, this is this is true, and uh, I'm just thinking right now, I... I think you would, should prioritize Ethan over Ideen, to be honest, because Ideen will be with you for a longer time, and she gets worried. So yeah. So why would you so just return the remaining people instead of uh, warping? Now, I wouldn't return Ideen just yet, but I would return Quan instead of warping him. Oh, for sure. I think I might need him, though, so... For what? Uh, for fighting? I mean, Jamka's gonna do, like, all the work, isn't he? He might. Yeah, you might be right. Duke can probably just stand there. I don't think he'll do anything. <laughs> you can walk him up to ID to get, like, work. <laughs> Why not? Uh, move all the units. Move all the units. FE4 Don't forget style. to move Arden towards this place, too, because he might make it in time, considering <laughs> how slow Lex is. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Alright, so I think I might be able to get close to him soon. I think, yeah, I think once... there's a square where you can go with where you can silence him, but you don't yeah, uh, for sure. fight the enemies. I mean, I guess I could go, like, go pull them. Actually, maybe I shouldn't pull them. I think it's easiest to pull them with Jamka hmm. in the forest. So just put Sigurd here then, maybe. Maybe it's even better to have Sigurd like, wait and see where he goes, because Jamka might need, need some leadership to just, like, have higher Yeah, that's chance. what I was thinking too. Maybe I should do that. I'll bring Ira here just in case as well. And... Yeah. Ira is harmless, as long as she doesn't go in any range. <laughs> Ira is very harmless. <laughs> very harmless. Say that to her face. Very so, chill. return Quan then. Yeah, move. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think so, at least. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> Whoop. So much fun. Did you ever give gold from Quan to Ethan? I forgot. Uh, no, I have not. Actually, Looks I may. Like yeah, I think I, I think I did. Ethan is not that rich. <laughs> No, you're right. I'm moving these guys up to get warped, nothing else, or to get returned. Whatever comes first. <laughs> Whatever comes first. So, uh, there we go. Okay, so I think I that's think, everyone, yeah. I think that's everyone. In my in my first playthrough of the Shin Patch, there was like a meme that I always forgot about Noish for some reason. Like, I, I would always like, where's Noish? Where, where did Noish go this? And then they're like, oh, here's Noish. <laughs> Found him. <laughs> Find Noish. Well, is that, is that why he tries so hard to get noticed this playthrough? By like, printing everything? Yeah. You only want to prove wrong. All right, here we go. Yeah, you can. I think you can silence him multiple times, even if he's already silenced or something. Or you can no. silence him on silence. Either way, 100 more for the deer that you might want to abuse. Yeah, it's 100 experience. State of States gives a crap ton of exp. I like mm -hmm. how the music stops playing. I know it does that in later games too, but in this one, it's very noticeable. Yep. All right, there we go. Maybe in this game it was just Kaga being lazy. You know? Wow, magic got magic and rest on Deidre. Hmm. Yeah, imagine that. 
game do? Imagine my shock. This game, this game do further shock. <laughs> this game do further shock, yeah. So we, we might, actually, yeah, I think we might be dependent on Sigurd's leadership bonus here. Uh, also, I think what I want to do is I want to return Lex to the castle. Afterwards, yeah, I think so. How many returns do you have remaining, anyway? I have seven, so should uh, be good. I kind of wish in retrospect that these return more horribleness. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. Do my best! My best. <laughs> FE4, everyone. It's not looking like Lex is going to cost you any turns. It's going to be just Sigurd's progress to the castle that's going to cost you any turns. I think so, yeah. Alright, here it comes. The enemy. Yeah, the enemy. So let's oh. see how well Jamka deals with these guys. Ideally, he kills one of the fighters and then he just counters everything else.